I hope you're still staying safe and indoors. Um, today um, we're going to paint toilet rolls as a kind of a sign of the times, as Barry said. So um, what I'm going to do, first of all, I am recycling a canvas again. This is the one that I used last Monday for the sunflowers. So um, as you can see, I've got my toilet roll set up here in the background. Last of my, um, or second from last of my puppies on a roll, and then I go on to the cheap stuff because it was all I could get. So, what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to put a, a ground down. So I'm going to cover this. Okay, um, now I'm going to use, I haven't got any ochre, so I've kind of mixed an ochre colour with um, cadmium yellow, white, and burnt um, sienna. So I'm just going to put walk down a background on this first of all. I'm going to get a bit of show through. I'm not too worried about that. I quite like having um, a bit of um, the original canvas coming through. Okay, so there we are. We've got the uh, the background down. Now, so what I'm going to do next? Um, I was looking at uh, symbolism. Because we've called this particular session Sign of the Times, I was looking to put some symbolism in the background. So what I was looking up was the, um, the coronavirus <laughs> um, under a microscope. So I've got these images, which, as they've been posted by places like the Daily Mail and other newspapers, sites and stuff like that, I don't know which one's accurate. So I'm looking at stuff like this. And this. So basically, if I do some kind of like splodgy circle things that look like a, a nasty virus, then um, I don't I don't want it to stand out too much. I'm just going to have it quite subtle in the background. So I'm going to use um, a magenta, I think. While the background's still wet, I'm going to put these in and try and make them kind of a little bit more subtle so they're not jumping really forward so I've put my, my magenta on there but I'm blending it a bit with the background colour and then I'm just going to put some like virusy type splodges in right I don't know if you can see my still life in here, my toilet roll in the background here. But I've got it on the mantelpiece, so I'm going to put in uh, a line where the uh, the wall meets the, the, the mantelpiece. So I'm going to use, the wall is a kind of like dark greeny grey colour. So I'm going to put a bit of blue into my background mix. So again, using the same mix I've got here and probably about two-thirds of the way down my canvas I'm just going to put in an indication of where the, man the mantelpiece is I'm not going to put it too much in the middle because that's where my toilet roll is going so this is just a rough background So there we go, we've got a bit of a, it's looking a bit more three-dimensional. Okay, and now I'm going to put in a little bit of an indication of the mantelpiece now. I'm going to use white for that. I'm just going to put a little bit lighter at the front. If you notice, I very rarely wash my brush, so I'm always getting the last colour coming up on it, which I don't mind. It's kind of a makes it a bit more interesting. So I've got a bit of magenta coming up on it, a bit of blue there. But we're gradually losing the original sunflower that was on the canvas. Right, now I'm going to draw the, the toilet roll. I'm going to draw it with a paintbrush because otherwise you're not going to be able to see it if I do it with a pencil. Because I've got this um, this draping bit coming out from the side here, if you can see through there, I want to do the, the toilet roll a little bit kind of offset, 
So I'm going to put it kind of here and then have the, the draping bit coming out from the side. So just to give myself a guide to start with, um, the, the hardest part about drawing something like this is the ellipse. Now from my eye level, it's quite narrow. It's quite narrow on the top. So I'm going to give myself a line and a line coming down as well, so you've got the centre. And this gives you a guide for where the bottom will be as well. And then I've got two ellipses. I've got the, the outer one and then the inside of the toilet roll as well. So what you need to do is trying to <coughs> trying to make them so that they're the same on each side. What you can do is measure if you want to. So you've got like you make sure that side is the same as same length as that side. So if I give myself a mark there and then another mark on the other side to make sure I get them even and the same with the, the uh, top as well the horizontal one if I go from here and then that to there is there so it'll be coming to about there and then it's I'm going to just freehand it there are uh, if you want to learn how to make ellipses there are a lot of things that you can look up online how you can work it out mathematically but I find probably the easiest way to do it is to just try and be quite loose with your uh, your curves and almost draw from your shoulder rather than from your hand and then the inner circle the inner ellipse is probably about a third so if I'm looking at a third each way, it's about there. Now when you're, um, when you're at a higher eye level, so you can see the top ellipse, the, the bottom one down here is going to be deeper. So it's going to curve more. So if I put my sides of my toilet roll in, then this one's quite a... quite a... Um, slow curve, this one's going to be a lot deeper. So there I've got my basic my basic shape of my toilet roll. I've probably done it quite a lot narrower than what it actually is but I'm imagining that I've already used some of it. <laughs> so then we've got the piece that's draping down from the side which comes out from the back so it comes round from here and then it will come down to about here like so, and then it comes down that kind of angle. And then the front of it comes down in front of this edge of the toilet roll, and we've just got a little bit of a join like that. So if you want to, you can draw this in pencil to give yourself all the guides that you need. And um, then the thing to do is to start putting the actual shading onto it. Now I've got quite a long, uh, strong light source here as you can see. Um, my window is over there so all, all my light's coming in from, from that, that edge. So it's quite easy to see where all the shadows and the, uh, the light areas are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the light areas in first. So I'm just going to use a white. I'm going to go back to a, a larger brush. So I'm going for a, it's a quarter inch brush. So I'm going to go in and put in all the really, really light areas so I can see on this edge it's really, really light. So I'm going to put that in in a white. And because it's wet, it's still going to pick up a bit of the background colour, but it doesn't really matter. This is what happens when you buy cheap white paints they don't cover very well. But it's okay, when, it, when it's dry you can always uh, give it another coat. That kind of fades out on this edge. Okay. Now I'm going to start putting in some of the shading on the other side. And I'm going to use um, a blue and 
just neutralize it a bit by mixing some of the ochre color into it. So as you can see, it's, a, it's an ultramarine and I'm just mixing some of the, the ochre into it. And I'm going to take it down on this side. And then I'm going to start blending the two together so you've got the, the front of the toilet roll here. It's starting to look a little bit more three-dimensional. And again, it's going to be quite dark in inside here. So I'm going to use just the, the blue with a bit of the magenta in here to get that quite dark. And we've got a bit of a shadow coming through here. shaded edge on this side. And then I'm going to put in a, a shadow underneath. I'm just seeing a really dark shadow under here. I'm going to um, just do the top of it. Now we've got a white there but it's it's quite it's not so well lit as this side is so I'm going to go for a kind of a a mid colour. This is just everything I've got on my palette just mixed together. So it's kind of very similar to the background. And then we've got the dark centre of the um, toilet roll. I'm going to get a burnt umber for this so I can make it quite dark so it looks hollow. A bit lighter on this side, so we'll just do that. How's that looking? It's getting there. It needs a bit more work doing to it, obviously. So I can do a little bit more blending, especially on this bit here. Okay, I'm going to just put in a little bit of shading here because we've got a projected shadow from the toilet roll. So I'm going to put that in from the side. And then we've got a bit more of a shadow underneath here. So I'd love to see what everyone else does with this. Um, have a think about some of the symbolism about what's going on at the moment and um, perhaps use that in your painting as well. Um, you don't have to just do one toilet roll, you could put a, a whole still life of different toilet rolls. And uh, if, again, if you can um, load your pictures onto the VC gallery when you've done them, that would be great because I'd love to see what you've done. Thank you for joining me everyone and hopefully we'll have another one of these next week. Bye!